Hi, welcome to another craft tutorial. I am Megan from MeganPlus5.com and today I'm going to show you how to take these ugly orange pumpkins that you can get from the Dollar Tree and turn them into something that you'll want to display in your home. So here's what you need. Um, a Dollar Tree pumpkin, some antiquing wax, some gold chalk paint, flat white spray paint, a chip brush, and you're going to use that with the wax. A regular brush, you're going to use that with the chalk paint and a skewer, and of course you'll need um, a paint tray to put your paint on. You could also use like a discarded piece of cardboard or something, that always works really great. Um, so let's get started. Okay, so first we need to prime this, and um, I found the best way to do this is with spray paint. So I didn't actually do this on the video here, um, but I will show you exactly what I used and um, so you can do this step at home. Um, so this is the one that I primed. I literally just painted it. You can see my hand is still covered in spray paint. Um, I used the blow dryer to get it to dry a little bit faster. Um, and this literally took me, um, I don't know, 40 seconds to paint with the spray paint. So this is what I used. It is Rust-Oleum Professional High Performance Enamel. We had this in the garage. I didn't go out and buy this. Um, if I were to go out and buy spray paint for this tutorial, um, I would probably just go buy a dollar can from Walmart. Um, but this worked really great. It had really great coverage, uh, it dried really fast, and um, I only had to spray it once. So how I did that was um, I used a skewer and I just put it in the bottom there and then I held it and then I spray painted it and I did it outside you don't want to do this inside um, and it literally took less than a minute to do I came inside took the blow dryer to it and um, and then now we're here okay so once your pumpkin is totally dry from the spray paint um, you want to go ahead and start painting it with the um, chalk paint so um, to keep it from the bottom from getting too ruined I am just gonna go ahead and stick some of these skewer pieces in here. And that way it can kind of rest. And I just cut it from the one that I used. Um, but that way it can sit on the table and um, after I've painted it and it's not gonna you know, touch the table and get all gross and everything get ruined. So um, let's go ahead and get started. And then you can just paint around these. You're not gonna see the bottom anyway. And then you can just go back and forth because there is a lot of um, texture on these pumpkins. So you wanna be sure this white is not showing through. Go ahead and go over the areas again that um, have a little bit of this white showing through. Okay, and then you want to let that dry. Okay, when your pumpkin is all dry, you can start to add some of the antiquing wax. And while mine was drying, I had the thought to add some of this lagoon color. Um, to mine because I think that that is going to really make a big difference in the look of this pumpkin. So we're just going to put a little bit, if I can get it out of there, on there. 
And then I'm just gonna use this old sponge brush that we had and just dip a little tiny bit in there. And what we're gonna do is just kind of brush over just a little bit. We don't wanna cover this with this color. Um, we just wanna kind of highlight some areas of it. So I'm just gonna And you don't wanna to get too much paint on there at a time, so it's a good idea to dab it off. I use a drop cloth for um, every time that I do any kind of work um, so that I can keep my surface clean. Um, and with that comes dabbing paint off on it. Um, but you could also use a paper towel or um, a piece of, I don't know, discarded cardboard or something like that. I think that this is going to make it look so much better than just the antiquing wax. So after this is dry on here, we're gonna put the antiquing wax on top of that. And you can see I'm just lightly grazing it and it's I'm not getting like whole streaks going down. Um, so it's just kind of sporadic on there. Since I did a really light, just kind of swipe on there, um, this is probably pretty much dry. Chalk paint dries really fast anyway, um, but, and then just the fact that I didn't hardly put any on there, it's gonna dry even faster. Okay, so um, antiquing wax, it requires very, very, very little. So just like with this, um, we're gonna do the same thing, but I'm gonna use this chip brush, and I use this chip brush all the time for a lot of my projects. Um, so if you have a chip brush and you buy it brand new, um, cut the bristles down. This is what I do with mine. I cut the bristles down so they're about an inch long because it'll give you a more stiff brush and um, you can just control it a little bit better and you won't have like wispy pieces of wax go on there that just look really weird. Um, so cut it down, it'll look better. Okay, and I'm just gonna lightly brush that on there. And again, dab it off on your work area. Okay, so you can see I got way too much right there. So um, you can just go over that area. Don't dip it back in your wax, just wipe your brush off. And then it'll kind of smooth that out. So with just a little bit of paint and some antiquing wax, you can take your Dollar Tree pumpkin from looking all crazy orange to beautiful and rustic. So if you like this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up um, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and then go check out my blog at meganplus5.com. I have so many crafty tutorials on there that I can't wait to share with you. If you have any questions, leave them below and I will see you then.